In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a depth map in Photoshop, then take a 2D image into After Effects and create a 3D animation. So here's the image that we want to create the depth map for. Open in Photoshop. I'm just double click it. And then once you have it open in Photoshop, control J to make a copy and go up here to filter and the neural filters down here on depth blur. Turn that on and select the output. Anything that's dark and black like this, it'd be closer to the camera and more in focus. Then it'd be the opposite for anything that's white or brighter. So once you have it like this, you don't have to do too much to it. Click OK. Now we're gonna go file, save as a copy, and I'm gonna save it on the desktop. Name it the same thing, but I'm gonna put depth map. Save it as a JPEG. All right, so once you have After Effects open, let's go here to project panel. If you don't see, just go to Windows, make sure that's checked. Double click this, and let's select the two. Import that. Select the main one, drag it down here to the uh, comp to make a new one. And we'll change it to 100 so we can see it. And for the depth map, just bring it above the main image. Disable that. Let's go down here to the main image. Go to Effect and Preset. Type in Displacement Map. If you don't see this uh, window, same thing. Go here. Effect Preset. Drag this. Bring this onto here. And let's change the source to um, the depth map. But looking at it right now, you can see some hard edges. So the way to fix that is I like to fix it in Photoshop. And let's go ahead and open this one in Photoshop. So now it's in, open in Photoshop. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Let's keep it at 5. And we're going to save this. We're not going to close it yet. So it should update in After Effect. All right, stop. So now you see that the uh, the edge is gone. So that's what we want. So if we go here again, just click Undo, save this. It should update here, and then back to the hard edges. We don't want that. So I'm just going go to Edit, Redo, save this. And I like to keep this open because I might want to blur it some more. But if it looks good already like this, then you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to go down here. And let's go ahead and select the keyframe for the horizontal and the vertical. And I'm just going down here again. Hit the letter U. It'll bring up the uh, keyframe right there. And I like to animate it about three seconds. And in the beginning, let's do zero, zero. So now when you move it like that, you can see it kind of shift. So you can see the background, the van. Let's try to fit that, see how it looks. So this is only good for like three seconds and you can't, if we try to make it any more than that, see how it started getting distorted. So I find it about five or maybe you could get away with eight. Let's try that. Eight. Yeah, eight is not too bad. You can see the effect more. So if you play it, you can see that. If you want it to be faster, just move the keyframe up. So I like that. So that's about like a second. So yeah, that's how you create a um, depth map and then use a 2D image and turn it into a 3D animation.